Check out my fully sick camera mod. Oh yeah. G'day there folks, I'm Beanie. You're watching Beanie Draws and I'm coming to you again from my car because, well, the last time I did a little quick video from my car, I kind of like the whole bloggy aspect of it and that's a good way of, you know, having a bit of a quick chat with you guys in between potentially long periods of uploads. And I'm also near a nice little park. You can even see that. But anyway, um, basically, thought I'd use this as an opportunity of a little bloggy status update, because, you know, YouTube, you can't really post update statuses. I mean, you can, but, I mean, it's, a, it's more of a platform for recording videos, obviously. Um, my ear is near a, um... Bin. That's the word I'm looking for. Let's see if I can just shuffle the camera. There we go. Oh, and there's magpies down there. Look at them. If you can see them. There's magpies down there. Having their morning foods. Status report. I'm uploading a video right now. Uh, it's going to be a new Spinosaurus video, which looks like it's pretty cool. It's going to be alright. Um, might do one more down the track, but I'm quite happy with that. how that Spinosaurus video turned out. As long as the descriptions aren't too shabby, um, my descriptions and uh, articulation of my voice isn't always the best, as you probably have noticed. I have just uploaded a video of a Dilophosaurus full body, which we'll see how that goes. People seem to have wanted the full body, and well, I, was, I drew that when I drew the head, um, the, the how to draw the Dilophosaurus heads, and yeah, I, I enjoyed that, so I'm going to be doing more drawings soon. I have, for the most part, I'll find out this week or next week how my financial situation is going, but for the most part, I think I have a handle of my financial situation now. My debts are more or less handled, I think. I'm not going to quote myself on that, but I'm pretty sure I've handled my my debts and uh, parking fines. I did get one new parking fine, but that was like, what, $60, which isn't the end of the world considering some of the fines I've had. I finally, fi I think, I finally figured out how to get my money off YouTube. Ooh! Because, I mean, I'm not doing this, obviously, for money. Because, you know, if I was doing this for the money, I would be doing something else. Because, I mean... I have now made enough money to buy myself a tablet or a laptop, a small laptop, not a great laptop, but you know, something that'll work, or a, a iPad or something, and it's taken me from, since I was able to monetize my videos, which was sometime around this time last year till now, so in the space of a year I've made enough to afford a laptop, so that's definitely not a yearly income. And obviously I'm not doing this for the money, I'm doing this because, well, to be honest, I'm doing this because I like the praise. <laughs> I like getting um, compliments on my videos and drawings and such, and I like teaching you guys how to draw, so that's why I do this. That's explained in a, in a video that I'm still working on. Um, that video will, is meant to be for the 6,000 subscriber video, and, uh... It may be 7,000 subscribers by the time that eventually actually gets out. I'm editing it, it's just a whole... Trying to get all these... Trying to get all your drawings together and, you know... Put it together into a nice little sort of, um... Slideshow package. I'm just watching... If you're wondering why I'm looking at here all the time, I'm watching this... The, uh, magpies having a bit of a play out in the park. And it just pooped. Well, there you go. <laughs> So that's why I'm getting distracted. This might actually be a long sort of a. It might be a blo uh, blah 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 blah. It might be a bit of a long bloggy sort of thing. This could work actually, because yeah, I mean, you guys are here for the um for the drawing tutorials naturally, but some of you are actually interested in how my life is going, as I've seen from you know you got you guys commenting on being grateful that I'm back, which is awesome. That makes me feel so happy. So, um, that, all that kind of stuff out of the way, as I mentioned, my financial situation seems to be a bit better. So what I'm working on now is I think I will have enough money to buy myself 
not a laptop, because that's what I'm trying to figure out what I want to do now. I have enough money, I think, for some technology. Some technology that will allow me to draw digitally. The problem is, there's a few ways I can go about it. I want to get myself either an iPad Pro, which I want to get anyway, or a Surface Pro 4. I'm not going to be getting myself a MacBook or any sort of laptop. I've been there, done that, don't really want to go there again because it's just too much of a hassle. They are good for editing videos, but that's about it. Well, okay, they're good for more than editing videos, but... You know, I spend a lot of time in this car because I'm driving all the time and driving for Uber, which helps make me, you know, a little bit of extra, more reliable money. Um, so, yeah, I need something that's very portable, something about the size of a, a A4 book or basically something about that size. There's nothing really in here at the moment because it's just, it's in the side of my car in case I get the urge or an idea been too distracted with trying to make plans to actually draw anything. Um, I do draw something here and there, but they're nothing of notability, nothing to really post anywhere, so yeah. I might I might do a little video at some point of me showing you what I've drawn in my little sketchbooks, maybe, but um, yeah. Basically the idea is I want to get myself an iPad Pro, because the drawing of that, I at first I discredited the the iPad Pro because I thought it was a gimmick, but um the the Apple Pencil is actually really good. It reminds me of drawing on an actual book or on on paper. It's got that kind of tactile feel to it. Um, I think it must be something to do with the nib. It's a little bit rubberized or something. It gives a, it has a little bit of give. The uh the way that it draws on the screen feels very much like drawing on an actual page, which is awesome. That's kind of something I've been really wanting, and you can use it at night time. So when I'm out here on the road driving and I want to draw, I don't have to rely on that big ball of fire in the sky which is currently being covered by clouds. I don't have to rely on that. I can basically draw anytime, anywhere, and that's what I want. The problem, however, is that there's no real way to record the screen as far as I'm aware. If you do know of how to record the screen without any other additions, like any other, like, you know, external hardware. If you know how to use an iPad Pro just to record the digital drawing I'm drawing as I'm doing it, and preferably so I can annotate at the same time, i.e. how I do all my tutorials, let me know in the descriptions below, and I'll be forever grateful, and then you'll be getting lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of videos very quickly. Um, there's also the i... not the i, the... Surface Pro 4, which is a fully featured, fledged out laptop. You can edit videos, which is what I'm going to be needing to do, because I don't think you can do that on, I on an iPad Pro. You can edit videos, you can plug in a webcam, or you probably wouldn't even need to plug in a webcam. It's probably got a, um, a camera right in the screen, so you can actually do what I'm like doing right here. So, um, yeah, that I wouldn't need a webcam to... I wouldn't need a webcam to record myself. I would probably need a webcam, well, I suppose, I, I suppose it's got a little camera out the front of it, so I could probably mount an eye, I could probably do that actually, Just like, that only just occurred to me now, while recording this, um, yeah, basically I could be, I could probably use the camera, front facing camera on a Surface Pro, or even on, a, on an iPad really, on a, sort of on a higher mount, um, put it on a tripod or a mount of some sort, and use that to record my more traditional drawing things. It's possible. I'll have to look more into that one, actually. Before I go spending money on a piece of equipment. Um, and, yeah. So that's the plans at the moment. I think I'm pretty much on the ball for getting myself a new tablet for drawing or recording device for editing etc etc so I can get these videos out in a more timely manner while I'm out here which would be awesome I like doing these sort of bloggy videos as long as they don't run too long keep it a try and keep it a 15 ishy minute time length so that'll be this is kind of cool doing these little videos you guys seem to not mind it too much um 
And yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Let's get myself a technology to draw more stuff and use these kind of bloggy video things to talk to you guys more. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on in my world. I have a Spinosaurus head I'm working on, which I'm quite happy with. And then I'm going to be going further with that one. I'm going to be uh, scaling that. I don't. Some of you guys don't seem to mind the scaling videos. It's a little bit too... A little bit complex for some of you, but um, that's cool. Some of you prefer the more simple videos. Some of you prefer, like, really like the advanced stuff, so that, you know, I do everything for everyone. Got a few ideas coming along. I'm going to be doing some non-dinosaur-related stuff. I really actually want to draw Markiplier, and I want to draw Mark Scepter Guy, so I'm going to see if I can turn that into a... <laughs> I'm not very good at drawing faces, I will forewarn, so... That may be an interesting little tutorial on how to draw a face using Markiplier or Jacksepticeye. I mean, I like PewDiePie to a degree, but I don't like him anywhere near as much as I like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. I love their hair. Um, I think that's pretty much all I need to cover. And for some strange reason, I much prefer doing these kind of handheld videos rather than talking in front of my camera. And, yeah, well, this is in front of a camera talking in front of a computer because once I was doing that you'll, you'll see that down the track the 6,000 subscriber video is very it seems very contrived and very scripted whereas the video that I initially planned for the 5,000 which you will see I will be uploading that because I quite like that video it was out in nature kind of like this so I'm, I'm going to be doing more videos like this rather than in front of a camera if I want to do anything, anything bloggy because I don't know it just seems more one-on-one -on -one. I've got a little I'm, it's just me in my car and a little phone here which works well rather than a whole studio setup which is a little bit meh I mean one day down the track when I'm when I don't have as much uh nerves and anxiety in talking to the wider public I may have a more of a studio setup you never know I've watched those Markiplier, not Markiplier, the um, the Jacksepticeye videos where he f was first basically starting and he was like doing, you know, the, the sort of low budget, it worked well, he was like saying, hey, I can't believe, I, I can't believe I've reached 5,000, I mean, maybe one of the, I'm not going to try and imitate him because, you know, I'm not, I'm not Irish, but um, but yeah, like, you know. He wasn't expecting there to be any major explosion, and there was. I'm not expecting there to be a huge explosion in Beanie Draws. I want there to be, like, you know, a nice gradual, like, there's a... I, I mention him sometimes, there's a guy called, um, Jazza, um, Draw With Jazza. He's a big inspiration to my videos as well. We do very different things, but, um, he inspires me. He, he basically gives me the idea of what is more, um realistic and more appropriate to um expect like he's i think what is he, he's like over five hundred thousand subscribers now which is a really good decent effort so i'm hoping that you know in the next couple of years i'll have a, a about you know five hundred thousand plus might get that early you never know who knows what could happen in the next couple of years or even a couple of months anything can happen but um yeah see once I've got a little handheld thing going on, it's just you and me in the car. I, I can feel like I'm just talking to you. Like, sometimes I'm talking to you as the audience, my viewers, and sometimes I'm just talking to you. That one particular person that's watching me right now. Yeah, it's just me and you in the car, just having a bit of a chit-chat. Letting you know what's going on in my world, if you are so, if you are, you know, so way inclined to know what's going on in the Beanie Draws world. But yeah, so that's how I'm feeling at the moment. Feeling optimistic, feeling positive, and um, yeah, I think my videos in the next coming weeks and months shall hopefully, shall hopefully um, reflect that. So yes, that is me, that is where things are going, I'm feeling good, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to giving you, giving you guys and girls and everywhere in between some awesome content. To look forward to and before this video goes any further and I ramble on even more and more I'm gonna call it a day here and 
enjoy the rest of my day and hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day as well so uh yeah thanks for watching and i will catch you in a video to come so uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time cheerio for now